When we are nervous or scared, we often feel it in our gut. I have butterflies in my stomach. My stomach dropped in fear. Research tells us that there is a strong connection between our brain and gut. Our brain, gut, and the thriving mass of bacteria that live inside that gut are called the brain-gut microbiome axis. Communication between the brain, gut, and microbes occurs through numerous pathways, including electrical signaling through the vagal nerve, chemical signaling, and immune cells. This means that the brain and gut can talk to one another, which might help explain why anxiety and gastrointestinal issues are so strongly connected. When we look across development, it is also clear that the brain and gut develop in parallel over similar time frames. Furthermore, experiments suggest that growing up in a microbiome deficient or germ-free environment causes alterations in several brain regions, including the prefrontal cortex, hippocampus, and amygdala. So we need a microbiome to build our brain. Both the brain and gut are most open to environmental influences when they are developing rapidly, which for both systems is before the age of three years. This is a stage of life when parental care is especially important. Therefore, early adversity, particularly those involving specific aspects of caregiving and neglect, can affect the development of the brain and gut and the functioning of the brain-gut microbiome axis and are therefore potent risk factors for both gastrointestinal and mental illness.